Now, it is an amazing thing. I want to talk about something very specific. I'm not going to go too much. We know who we're here to hear. We're here to hear. I like that. But uh, something that's very important to all of us here in Austin, something very, very unique that is now going to be before us come November that we will all be voting on, and that's above and beyond the candidates of which we vote on. Something was put in place that we will all be considering raising. How, how many here think they don't pay enough property tax? Anybody here want to pay a little more? We got some over here. We got two. Okay. All right. We have a few. I will, I will pass your name along. You can pay my share. But right now, there's going to be something before us that raises our property taxes. It's going to raise it by $100 per $200,000 in value. Now, I want to tell you a story. I went to the dentist not too long ago. I was just having this strange toothache, all right? And I went and I sat down in the dentist and he's looking at it and he's checking it out. He's like, uh, I got to pull that tooth. It's, it's a gun. I got to pull it. I was like, you got to pull my tooth? So I said, all right, well, how much is it going to cost me? And he says, well, it's going to cost you 750 bucks, but I can do it in five minutes. <laughs> Without skipping a beat, he looks at me and says, I can take longer. <laughs> now, this is unique because I find this philosophy has really taken heart in what I like to call the Republicrats. Right. They have a motto that they think that they can take money that is already ours, but then add a whole hell of a lot of pain. And that is what they're proposing. Right now, they're going to look to raise $400 million to pay 10% of a hospital here in Austin, of which we already have one in Round Rock. Now, how many of you know where Round Rock is? Pretty bloody close. I thought it was part of Austin last time, right? <laughs> now, unfortunately, they have a lot of money behind this movement. There's a lot of benefit for them. It's, it's sponsored by many Republicrats and supporters. I'm not going to name any names to give out any free advertisements for them. But we may be, you're looking at what may be the only voice to put clarity of what's happening. The only voice, if we don't spread this message, if we don't do this, we will see ourselves paying this and paying more. And you think it's only for a year? <laughs> for now on. Perpetuity, yeah. for eternity, you will pay that. And how many times have you seen a bill come up and say, we'd like to lower your property tax? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope to produce one. Yeah, right. If you will elect me, right? Now, uh, we have a very, very special guest tonight, a very special guest. Something very unique about this guest, right? If we look at what we are doing nationally across our whole country, we're in a very unique situation. I know we are going to be in those debates. I know that our governor who is soon to be president-elect, is going to be part of those debates. Every dollar I put into my campaign, I know it is going to pay me back 20-fold in investment money in the effort that will come out of advertisement and promoting a message of liberty when we are part of those national debates. Now, when I say we are part of those national debates, what do I mean by we? Are we going to be there? You're damn right we are. <laughs> Gary Johnson is going to be representing all of us. All of us. So our voices will be heard. And we will be part of that. Now, never in history have we ever seen a more divided political base. Ever before in history. This is the time. This is the opportunity. Your investment, your hard work, all of the roots that you have put out there are about to go through. This heat is going to help all the water and nourishment grow and sprout. And we're going to see an amazing tree trunk for the liberty tree that is about to exist. It's going to be huge. But to make sure that message is heard, to make sure it's out there, we need your support. One, we have a lot of signs, we have a lot of information, we have a ton of stuff. Take it all, it's all for you. Take it free. I hope you put a yard sign and whatnot all in your yard. I hope you put a flyer. But I want to tell you a little story recently. Now, I am like most men, and I, I was I was thinking my wife was starting to uh, lose her hearing, so I, I didn't know how to address it to her. So I, I debated about telling her she, she can't hear me, but uh, you know, we've had that fight before. So I said, I, I have a friend who's a doctor. I went and talked to my friend, and I said, all right, well, how, how can you know for sure if she's hard of hearing? 
And he's like, all right, go home and do this test. I was like, oh, a test, all right? So he says, stand about, you know, 20 feet away, and, you know, just, you know, speak to her. She hears you, you know, great. If not, go a little closer. T come back and tell me what the radius is of how far she can hear. So I go home, and my wife's in her office working, and I, I, I walk to the door. It's about, it's about 20 feet away. And I stand at the door. She has to hear back to me. I say, hey, babe, how you doing? She doesn't move. She doesn't move. I'm like, all right. Let's just one step in. Hey, babe, how you doing? She doesn't respond. Nothing. I take another step in. This, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to measure the distance. I take another step in. I said, hey, babe, how you doing? She turns around and says, I told you three times. I'm fine. What do you want? <laughs> What's the point of that story? The point of that story is sometimes we stand there, we put a yard in our sign. Or a, a sign in our yard. We put a sign in our yard, we argue with people, we tell them we want the liberty movement, we want this. But have we looked in the mirror to say, are we doing what we can to make sure this message comes across? Are we putting forward as much effort as we possibly can to make sure that this message is something the whole world has? The message of liberty. The message of nonviolence that the Libertarian Party stands for internationally and domestically. That message, are we doing that? I ask you right now, each one of you have a pen on your table. You also have a donation card. Now, I've looked at Gary Johnson campaign, impressively enough, in the last short time has raised over $250,000. He raised that from just barely over 3,000 donors. Math wizards, that's about $85 a donor. Now I promise, if he comes to Texas, we're gonna do it bigger. This is Texas. So I hope each one of you, at this time, when you hear this message, that you will take part and say, how can I make sure that we do move this message to the next level? I ask each one of you to take part. Help us fund this campaign. Let's make sure Gary Johnson is in those debates, and let's make sure he is funded to make it around this entire country. Why? Like I said, every dollar you put in is a 10x return on your investment. It's going to come back when people start knowing, when you go down the street, and they know exactly what a libertarian is, exactly what one is. Right now, you have to explain it. That message is here. The time is now. We have never seen a better political environment than what we have right now. And I applaud Gary Johnson for taking on the sacrifice. Immediately when you put your name on your ticket, you know. One, if you're on two parties, you know obviously 50% hate you. When you're a libertarian, you're standing up for something. Immediately 95% of people hate you. <laughs> to do that takes a lot of moxie. And I applaud anyone who's willing to stand up for the message of liberty. Nathan Hale, when fighting for our country's liberty, and the British held him up, and they were going to kill him. They said, do you have any last regrets before they hung him? You know what Nathan Hale said? I have only one regret, that I don't have another life to give for liberty. I ask each one of you to dig deep and to find what you can do, how much you can offer, how much you can provide, whether it's a sign, whether it's Facebook. Facebook's amazing. It's free. Take a picture. Make sure this goes out to everyone. Tell them what you're a part of. Make sure our life is worth living, and that life is for liberty. Our choice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a great privilege at this time. I would like to welcome a two-term governor of New Mexico, our border continuous neighbor, who I'm sure loves to see Texas place come through his face. He vetoed 750 bills while in office. 